Israel's Netanyahu has said that he will defy Biden's red line to invade Rafah. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says he intends to press ahead with an invasion of the city of Rafah on the southern border of the Gaza Strip in defiance of the United States President Joe Biden, who warned such an offensive would be a red line. Amid signs of increasing frustration with Netanyahu, the U.S. President told MSNBC on Saturday he opposed an escalation of the conflict into Rafah and uh, that he could uh, not accept 30,000 Palestinians more dead more another 30,000 so 30,000 was acceptable that's that's the number where we start to go mm, i think it's too much 30,000 relief organizations have warned that an attack on rafa on the border of uh, with egypt now a refuge uh, refuge for uh, about half of gazans 2.3 million population would result in widespread civilian casualties german foreign minister uh Anel Anelina barbach barbach said it would be a humanitarian catastrophe it's already a humanitarian catastrophe though Ramadan tours for Israelis, a rare chance to unite Jews and Palestinians, are canceled. Yeah, because they're about to go into Rafah. When asked on Sunday whether Israeli forces would uh, move into Rafah, Netanyahu replied, We'll go there. We're not going to leave them. Uh, you know I have a red line. You know what that red line is? That October 7th doesn't happen uh, again and never happens again. Without naming them, Netanyahu claimed that he had tacit support of several Arab leaders for driving ahead with the onslaught against Hamas. They understand that and even agree with it quietly. They understand Hamas is part of the Iranian terror axis. Yeah, what Arab leaders are like, yeah, man, go ahead, do genocide.